Nice spot. Can you see that? Is that what you learned in plumbing school? What? How to show your butt? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's usually like a fun little bonus thing that we do at the end of class. We all stand on our desks and show each other our butts. <laughs> Just practicing? Yeah. You <laughs> use this in a video. Why? Because you won't. Why? Because I know that you won't. <laughs> Why? It's so funny because we just posted a video on our channel this morning about winter in Canada and yesterday we were going to take the thumbnail and there was no snow on the ground like at all. And then overnight, look what happened here. It's so, it's like, it's winter. So today we are at Rose Valley Regional Park here in West Kelowna enjoying the snow. Nick brought his snow skate for the walk and we're gonna see what we can find today. So let's go play. Looks like it's the top-ish of this little mountain hill thing. Um, but there's not much of a view right now. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty gray, but whatever, you can't complain. It's still pretty up here. Look, this is ice. And people back there, I'm not sure if you can see, but people are ice skating. Of course, I don't bring hockey stick and a puck and skates. Are any other vegans here obsessed with the President's Choice plant-based line, or is it just us? Because it's so good. This province extends 48 kilometers or 30 miles down the coast away from Italy into Slovenia. weird for wanting hot chocolate before I make dinner. Is that weird? Um, last week, the week before last week, because last week we spent the weekend doing renovations on our van. But the week before that, we went to Naked Cafe here in Kelowna and I had a hot chocolate for the first time, honestly, since going vegan. And then today, when we were shopping, I found these. I, haven't, I actually haven't tried them yet. Dandies. So we obviously bought them, and now I am going to make a hot chocolate before dinner tonight because I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want. Also, I'm not sure if we actually shared this, but we haven't been drinking. We drank on New Year's Eve, and then we drank on one other occasion, but we actually haven't been drinking, so we haven't bought any alcohol at all um, in 2021. So I'm like finding that I'm wanting to have more exciting drinks like as, before i never had like juice or anything like that like it was just like coffee water and wine and now that and now that i'm not having the wine i'm kind of like want something more sweet at night so maybe that explains why i want a hot chocolate but i digress it doesn't really matter i'm gonna make a hot chocolate Who are they playing?
have a lot of snow on this property. Mm -hmm. It's 9.30 a.m. We are the first and maybe only booking of the day. We can't tell. But we're here at, um, how would you pronounce it? Arian? Arian. 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 Arian Therapeutic Farm. It's a vegan farm here in Kelowna, and we're going to see some animals today. <laughs> are you going to wear a coat? Uh, I don't know. Should I? I'm going to put on a coat. I feel like we're, it's going to be kind of cold. Yeah, maybe I'll check a coat. Okay. Let's do it. I love that we came here for our first thing in the morning. What are you doing? I love that we came here first thing in the morning. It really is therapeutic. We've learned a lot of things so far, but we also so learned that they're sell they've sold this farm and they'll be moving in March. So if you have a chance to come here before they move here in Kelowna, I would definitely recommend it. The animals are so cute and um, yeah, it really is therapeutic. And the people are lovely too. This is Belle and she's the same age as us. Hi buddy. Belle's my twin. We're both 27. <laughs> recommend oh my goodness and this is our cow <laughs> the only thing that I feel like we missed out on is seeing that llama close up well you didn't miss out on much why they'll spit in your face no that's a rumor <laughs> no they, they do spit yeah but you wouldn't just spit on me just because no. you saw me no it why don't you tell them about your new job uh, did we not talk about it already? No, we haven't talked about it yet. So I got a job teaching kids how to skateboard, which is super Again. cool. Again, yeah, that was uh, my job that I had in Australia. So I'm, uh, I've been looking forward to really getting into it, um, learning the ins and outs of the job. Uh, but it's basically just teaching kids how to skate. So it's pretty easy stuff, but it's a lot of fun and I definitely enjoy it. I could do that. It's weird um, taping up a hockey stick again because I haven't uh, I haven't done it for like, since I was like probably 14 or 15. But and I would never have thought about how I normally tape a stick. But uh, once I started doing it, like my brain was immediately like, oh yeah, so we do this and we do this, like. It's like second nature, but I just completely, just like this small little thing, I never would have thought about. It's also really difficult to do in a vehicle. I used to have to do this in uh, my parents when they would in their cars when they would drive me to um, to games or practices. I'd always be doing this in the vehicle. My mom would get really angry at me. Because I would have the stick up in the front seat and I'd be sitting in the back seat. 
I also like to tape it from toe to heel. That way when I'm shooting, the puck follows the tape. I don't know if that makes a difference. I just, just weird things that I would do when I was a kid. My brother's calling. Hello? Yo, with street hockey gear, goalie gear work on ice? It works, yeah. Like it's not the best. You might feel a puck through it, but if you want to bring it, you can. Obviously, I'd just try and like deek you out. I'm not sure what it's like, twenty dollars less. Yeah. Kill. Okay, well, we're here now, so I'm just gonna hop out and uh, check it out. All right. Cool. I'm here. Look at that. Bye. All right. we've learned anything in the past week it's that bringing your skates to these places is very important and Nick was kind of upset the other day when we came here and we didn't have skates now it's the weekend we're here and there are lots of kids in the background but yeah this pond in this park is completely frozen over and we have our own little um, hockey rink set up here to ourselves Nick's little brother is gonna come and play with him today and yes it's a beautiful winter day here in Kelowna. Oh yeah, and full disclosure, I do, do not know how to skate. At all. Most of my students would always ask, they'd be like, oh, you rollerblade, like you played hockey? And I'm like, yeah. Like, oh, I wish I got to play hockey. Like I would love to go ice skating and play hockey. They have some leagues, but. You always want to, but you can't have, right? True. I mean, I've always loved hockey though, and I can always have it. Yeah, but I grew up in Ontario, and in Ontario, you can have an ice rink in your backyard every winter, and I never learned to skate. <laughs> my parents are gonna watch this and be like, what? Why? That's because like when I was a kid, I would always just hurt myself, like all the time. My, my dad's always like, you were the most accident prone child. <laughs> like I would just fall in ways that other people don't fall. I'd climb a jungle gym and like fall off it, you know? <laughs> like the slide would be right there, but I'd like tumble off. <laughs> yeah. My thing is, is that you gotta do it anyway. <laughs> Words of Persevere, wisdom. Persevere, baby. <laughs> Words of wisdom. Woo! Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Pretty, Pretty yeah. Pretty smart. <laughs> So the people that we're house sitting for, we don't know. We met them through um, trusted house sitters, and I mean, we never actually really met them. Um, they are down in Mexico, and they were gonna be down in Mexico for three months. So it actually looks like this house set is gonna be coming to an end sooner than we thought, because the government of Canada is bringing basically everyone home. Next time you see us, we might not be in this house. Yeah, unless they decide to stay, what was, were the orders till April? Yeah. April 10th? Yeah, so either they're gonna be home like this week, yeah. or they're gonna be home in like, uh, we'll get after an April 10th. Yeah, we'll get an additional like month and a half here, at least. The smart thing on their part would probably be to come back earlier, so that's what I think they'd probably do, because as we know, everything keeps getting pushed. So you have a date and then, um, 
it's always pushed another two weeks, month. Yeah, like April 10th is not gonna mean April 10th. I mean, who knows? You know, whatever. You'll figure it out. This is what it is. All you gotta do is live your life. Woo, best friends, not dating at all. <laughs> well, we can't high five. No. What, we can't? We can, but you can't. You, no, you can't. I can't high five. You can't two-handed high five. Why? Look, look at, look, okay. go this. I liked it. I don't know. It's all weird. This is done. I'm done. We're broken up now and this is too awkward. You didn't like. No. <laughs>